And Hayden bought some uh, new product. Take me down the sport court to uh, surprise me with it. I'll watch out for the uh, the trench here. Crater. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I'm sick of running extension cords and uh, like 200 feet of hose every time I want to like flood the rink or uh, you know put the lights up and stuff. So I did a trench from there all the way down here. Mm. Oh yeah. So we got power to the sauna and we're gonna have I, I put the uh, the water line actually sitting right there. So oh wonderful. Yeah. Always a different upgrade going on at the rink. Today, we, uh, I am reviewing some mystery product that uh, Hayden bought. Like, He's been drumming it up. He's like, this is a crazy new product. You have to try it. Uh, I'm skeptical because I pretty much, like, I've seen every product. Um, where, where is it? It's right over here. What is that? <laughs> You're going to love it. Battle kit? <laughs> what is it? Got it at a dirt cheap price, too. <laughs> okay. First of all, let's take a look at the packaging. I think I know what this is because I remember seeing it like years ago. Um, I have never tested this. We got the Boston Bruins, Dunkin' Donuts, Gatorade. Wow. Look at the old school Gatorade These logo. These are some pretty big sponsors we got for this uh, revolutionary product. This is called uh, Mr. Assist. Let's take it out. I, can, I cannot believe you are making me read this. <laughs> this is what happens when you give me the corporate card. So, so this is the product. It is a, uh, a puck on a bungee cord. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why? Ingenious. Why? How much did you pay for this? $70. I am never gonna financially recover from this. It's a steal. Are you kidding? This is 70 bucks? Oh my goodness. Hey, like this video because Hayden wasted $70 on a friggin' puck on a bungee cord. Can I just make this myself? No. All right. So in this video, I am reviewing a, uh, I mean, it actually does look kind of good quality. It looks pretty solid. To be honest, like, I don't know, it's got like a little rubber thing in there. Um, and there's like, there's metal in it. That's nice. It's got this uh, rubber like protection. Thing. You zoom in on that. Built tough, built to last. Yeah, and it's got the little nibs there around the puck, mm -hmm. right? So it's like a slide. I mean, okay, it, it's okay so far. When I first saw it, it reminded me of those toys you used to wrap around one foot and jump. <laughs> oh, yeah, the, it to... the skip it. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, there we go, there we go. Oh, you're tying it up around here. <laughs> it's like when the dog goes around your foot on her times. Wow. We have used Mr. Assisted Our Camps for over 20 years. It's the number one off-ice training tool on the market. You heard it there, Jeff Sarawick. I think he might own, oh, from Pro Ambitions, yes. He's the creator of the puck. <laughs> I think he might be biased. The There's no instructions. This looks like a, an extra. Oh. That's nice. It won't break. Because if I spent 70 bucks and then busted this, or like I give it to my kid and he goes and breaks it, it's nice to at least have one extra. Enough talk. I think we can figure out how to use this. This goes around my stick and then I'm gonna where on the stick do you attach it? I think right here. Okay, guys, let me know in the comments, is this the most ridiculous hockey training product you've ever seen? It's worth most it. Most revolutionary is what I'd say. It's the number one on the market, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> it looks pretty radical, honestly. <laughs> what am I even working on here? Like, why can I not just use a pass rebounder? We should do a video on that, comparing that to uh, a $300 rebounder oh, as well. Oh, good idea, Hayden. This I built myself. Uh, the rubber is just uh, silicone and, uh, was it baking soda? Yeah, mixture. Yeah, mixed together. And I put it into a leftover piece of wood. This handle right here is from uh, my toolbox that I didn't put on it. You don't use that. Yeah. I, I'm just saying like, you know, this 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 is good for passing right. compared to, let's, let's try this. You can actually guide it back to you. Well, I <laughs> it's actually kind of fun to yank it back and it's like, it gives you a harder pass. My initial uh, feeling, thoughts on it, like, yeah, you, you pass it, the puck just comes, I, I just don't know what I'm really working on. I don't know how long would I do this for? Like, would I do this every single day? I think we need to, we need to ask Mason. Yeah, I feel like <laughs> maybe I'm just too advanced. Or just too old to enjoy it. Yes. <laughs> I'm too old and just jaded, right? <laughs> we need to give this to a kid. Mason would have fun just ripping it and and playing with it. So I guess if we get some out on the sport court for a few extra minutes. Oh, I gotta, I gotta practice, I missed. Oh, look at that. When you miss it, you don't have to go get it. That's true. 
And if I have no friends, right? <laughs> yeah. I just pass and I always get the puck back. No, no, no one's hogging the puck. Whoa. You know what? I don't really mind it for the backhand. That's actually kind of like, it, it does teach, it gives you the timing. I'm getting the reps in and it, there is like something to do with it, the timing, the puck's coming, I'm watching it. Like I could, I kind of see that. Like right here, I have to get my stick down. I got to cup it on the blade. In order to keep it on the stick. You know yeah. what I mean? Like it is kind of teaching me to catch that puck. There's something here. I told you. Right, like that's a nice backhand smack. Like when you're on the ice and you get that pass, you got to crack it on the mm. backhand. See, I think I think they're uh, selling it for too cheap. <laughs> <laughs> the price is gonna go up after this video. It's going up to like 150. Okay, so the the one thing that I thought is like this bungee cord is just gonna get in the way. Right. Yeah, right, like how is this like not gonna be annoying? It's and also not... it's on the back side of the puck, so when you go to pass it away. Yeah, like it's right there, right? So yeah. kinda but kinda... try saucer pass. <laughs> sauce! Like how do you even sauce? Because the, the puck doesn't spin. Yeah. Right? Oh yeah, I guess it's you know more I mean? like a chip. Like yeah, I... it doesn't spin at all. Yikes! Oh! <laughs> Take out your ankle. <laughs> try it again. <laughs> you know what? There is a there is a hack in uh, Chell. Yeah. Oh, it's, like it's, I'm it's, doing it's, a Chell it's move. It's called the puck on the string, and you literally it flicks it up. It comes right back to your stick. That's funny. I'm, this is a glitch. Yeah. Glitch sauce. Okay. 100% uh, not recommended to practice your saucer passes. There's just like there's just no technique carryover right there, <laughs> and actually feels <laughs> a little dangerous. Test number two: stick handling. Uh, we'll just like mess around, like kind of. How much does? Oh, it's like you want to make a move, backhand dish. You get it back. You shoot. Whoa! whoa you almost die. <laughs> uh, the the cord does interfere a little bit. Like I can still actually. It's very distracting. <laughs> Deception number one. Deception. Woo. Oh, oh. Well, you lose the buck. Doesn't matter. He makes the pass. He gets it back. He passes to the Hayden. Oh, he actually gets the pass back. <laughs> this is crazy. Boom, back in. Oh, backdoor pass. Shoots. You know what? I could gets see. Gets his own rebound. <laughs> <laughs> I could see Mason enjoying the imagination of passing it around and, and getting it back. True. Like, it opens up a creative doorway. He does, uh, <laughs> like, he has a very big imagination, so maybe it would, maybe he will like it, maybe he enjoy it. Let's try it for shooting. <laughs> like, can I just work on my shot over you and could, over? No, you can shoot and be goalie at the same time. <laughs> oh, I just try to hit a target. I know it's a little bit ridiculous to think, to, to even think of using this to work on your shot. Cause obviously if you're back here, you're not gonna rip it and then just get a, a puck in the teeth. But maybe like in close, you can work on like a certain move. I don't know, I'll try to hit a target with it. <laughs> little danger, dude, it actually would be fun if I could snipe each target like ding, ding, ding. I'm gonna try that. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yes, ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is a little hard. There we go. There's the toilet paper from the last video. Oh, I, like the right here. The wrapped around it too. Well, it doesn't matter on the blade, I don't think, but right there, like how the nub is, like right there, right? Like I need to get sort of like scoop under and I can't because it, so it has to be like this for me to get the proper shot, like up, right? Get that top right. <laughs> Not recommended. It's just twisted up, that's why. Ready? Oh. Ah! Come back here. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, over the net. I swear I'd hit that first try with a real puck. No. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, ow! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it, it looked like it hit you in the shit. I want to try that again. Hey, you know what? We are having fun out here. Maybe if I give this to Mason, he'd just be out here for like an Sparks hour. Sparks his interest for longer. Or he loses four of his teeth. <laughs> Like, benefits out, outweigh the risks, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah true, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> as, as long as it helps his hockey, right? <laughs> you know those parents and they're like, oh yeah, I signed my kid up for baseball and they always bring it back to why it helps his hockey training. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my kid's in uh, in trampoline because uh, you know, it really helps his hockey, right? It's really <laughs> helping his speed. They always have to say that. Well, it's gonna help his speed. It's gonna help his stick handling. Oh, the follow through is important. If I just follow through towards the... Uh, Yo! Oh, jeez! Don't fall 
follow through. Don't high. follow through. <laughs> All right, here we go. But I am having fun. <laughs> that was good. Hey, the trick. <laughs> it's just let, let it come back to your blade. Ah! Gosh, you moved. That was so close. Oh, <laughs> the bungee cord is so interfering so much here. Okay, here we go. You know what? Forget this. Oh! <laughs> Ready? I'm going to get it. Oh. All right. Uh, the Mr. Assist, definitely not recommended for shooting. I mean, it's kind of fun just to mess around with. For passing? Like, pass reception? Here's the thing, this costs us 80 bucks here in Canada. You can just build your own pass rebounder, which is way more versatile, right? Like, I can, I can actually pass a puck and rip a hard one. Oh, get in the feet, recover, boom. I can rip pucks from back here, it's gonna come back. It's, it's the true interaction of the puck with the blade, kind of leaning towards a pass rebounder, especially if you have to drop 80 bucks. But if you can find one for cheap, if you can find one on clearance, if you just have so much money that you just don't have anything better to do with it, maybe a stocking stuffer for Christmas, something fun. Like- Can also be used as a weapon. <laughs> it's, it is kind of fun as far as like improving your skills. Maybe it'll have one, a small incremental uh, increase in your passing. Um, it's something to do. You know what though? Let's start a new series, Mason Reviews, and this can be his very first product. He'll try it, he can give you his reviews. He's eight years old. And then yeah, like maybe I'm just an old crusty dad, but kids would actually love this. We'll find out in a, a future video. One last thing, like this video, because Hayden spent all of our budget on this one puck, so we need to make that back in YouTube revenue. So make sure you like and comment, uh, just so we, this video gets enough views to cover that 80 bucks. <laughs> Hey, didn't want to try it. I set up a drill for him. Man, I don't know why you're bashing this thing. It's unreal. Little, little passing drill here for you. Nice pass, good reception. Great job. You Hayden. know, I really like that it doesn't matter how crap of a pass I give, I can always get it right back on the tape. Well, it's because you're showing the blade. <laughs> right? You show the blade, let them know that you're ready. Communication. Oh. See you on the way out, it's yeah. easy.